The programming language called Dart is a high-level and compiled language developed by Google to have high performance and efficiency in building web, desktop, and mobile applications. Dart is used in web development for both client-side and server-side. In the client-side, Dart can be converted to JavaScript, allowing developers to build interactive web applications, and on the server-side, Dart can be used to build back-end services and APIs. Dart is mostly known to be the language behind the popular framework called Flutter. This is a UI toolkit developed by Google to build mobile applications. With Flutter, you can build cross-platform mobile applications from a single code base, saving time and effort of learning multiple languages for different operating systems. The Flutter framework can also be used to build desktop applications that are also cross-platform desktop applications that can work on any OS. This makes Flutter a powerful tool for developers to reach users from any platform. Dart supports strong typing, where the developer should specify the type of data the variable will store. However, Dart also allows developers to use type inference. This is where the developer don't need to mention the type of data the variable will store because it will be guessed during runtime. Dart introduced a feature where the developer can express whether a variable can store null or not. This is useful when you want to get user input where the user might answer with nothing. The cascading notation in Dart allows you to call multiple methods in the same time on a certain object. This is useful when you want to perform a sequence of operations on an object without repeating its name multiple times. Dart also supports object-oriented programming, allowing developers to use classes and create objects to work with, alongside some OOP features like encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. Just a side note, if you want to get into Flutter, it's important to know object-oriented programming because it will be very handy. The reason some developers get into Dart is because they want to go for Flutter. And as we said before, Flutter is the framework used in Dart to develop UI applications for both the web, mobile, and desktop. The most important feature of Flutter is that it allows you to build cross-platform applications for mobile and desktop. So if you want to develop a mobile application for Android and iOS, if Flutter didn't exist, you'll need to learn Swift for iOS apps and Kotlin for Android applications. Flutter cancels all of this and allows you to write a single code base that works on both of these operating systems. Just a small note, it is true that Flutter allows you to build cross-platform applications, but when you write code, for example, on a Windows machine, you cannot build the application for iOS apps because you are required to build this app on Xcode, which is a text editor for Mac OS. So Flutter can generate iOS code, but you need a Mac OS to build and deploy iOS applications. To get started with Dart, you can download a text editor like VS Code to write, run, and debug code. Next, you need to download the Dart SDK from the Dart programming official website. Also, if you want to get into Flutter, you need to install the Flutter SDK that can be found in the Flutter website. Also, you'll be needing to install an emulator. You can do that by installing Android Studio, and there you can choose the emulator you want to display. A basic Dart program starts with the main function, which is of type void. This is a very important function because it acts as a starting point that tells the compiler where to start executing the Dart program. You can use the pre-built function called print to display hello world on the console. You can use the following command to run the Dart application and get the output on the terminal. And this is it about Dart. What do you think of this language? Comment below what is your favorite programming language. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to click on one of these end screens that will appear right now and I hope to see you in the next video.